Dubbed by many as the show better than Game of Thrones, The Last Kingdom won us over with its storyline and acting, but it also introduced us to Uhtred of Bebenberg himself, Alexander Draymond. We're taking a deeper look into the show's breakthrough star. Why does he look familiar? And is he currently dating anybody? Plus, other news on The Last Kingdom. Will there be a sequel to the show? Is the show based on true events? Let's get started. Who is Alexander Draymond dating? The Last Kingdom opened up a sea of opportunities for Draymond. Both in his personal and professional lives, Draymond was praised by critics for his portrayal of Uhtred, and people couldn't seem to get enough of the German actor. Which meant the inevitable Google search, who is Alexander Draymond dating? Actors are known for trying to keep their personal lives in the down low. Several try, but none succeed. It comes with fame. If people can recognize you on the streets, they'd want to know who you're with. Draymond, however, has stopped paparazzi by being incredibly private about his personal life, and we're we're talking incredibly secretively here. We know that from 2010 to 2012, Draymond was linked with Greek actress Tanya Sotiropolo. Sotiropolo is best known for portraying a Bond girl in the 2007 movie Skyfall. Besides that, she's well-known actress in Greece reprising several lead and regular roles in Greek television. Draymond and Sotiropolo reportedly met in 2010 when the pair were both cast to be in a photo shoot together. They began dating shortly thereafter and had a short-lived relationship ending two years later in 2012. Sotiropolo married in 2021. Neither Draymond nor Sotiropolo ever confirmed their relationship, but that was perhaps the closest look we've ever gotten into Draymond's personal life. Who else has he been linked with? Draymond was also linked with the Filipina-Australian actress Anne Curtis after the two starred opposite one another in 2014. Vampire-themed film Blood Ransom. Curtis and Draymond sparked dating rumors, but they came to a halt after the actress announced that she and Ernest when Hussoff had been dating, eventually getting married in 2017. We don't know who Uhtred of Bebenberg is dating at the moment, but the star has been linked to several of his co-stars. Eliza Butterworth, who plays Queen Aleswith of Wessex in The Last Kingdom, was once linked to Draymond after Butterworth posted a picture of the two of them on social media with a cheeky caption. Happy Easter from Lord Uhtred and I. I am no longer Lady Aleswith, just call me the Lady of Bebenberg. The caption sparked rumors, suggesting that the two might be romantically linked. However, Butterworth and Draymond negated those rumors, stating that they were just close friends. Butterworth has been dating Anton Valentine since 2017. Lately, Draymond has been linked with Emily Cox, who notably plays Brita in The Last Kingdom. The two share an on-screen romance that many fans speculate might have crept off screen as well. Brita and Uhtred share a relationship throughout the series, and fans are in love with the chemistry between the actors. Is it all acting? We don't know yet, but we do know that there's something worth investigating there. After his role as Casper in Christopher and His Con Mind, some fans have speculated that Draymond might be gay. However, Draymond rebutted these claims. Why does Draymond look so familiar? Does Draymond look like someone you've seen on screen before, but you can't really put your finger on it? That's because the actor was cast in several minor and recurring roles before his breakthrough role as Uhtred of Bebenberg in The Last Kingdom. He might have had minor roles before 2015, but you can't forget a face like Draymond. In 2011, shortly after finishing his on-screen debut in a French one-time series, Alexander Draymond was cast as Casper, alongside Doctor Who's Matt Smith in Christopher and His Kind. Draymond's next role was as Bruce in The Last Fashion Show the same year. The Italian mystery thriller show failed to rise to prominence and featured Draymond in a supporting role only. The German actor, who would go on to appear in several other films, Who is Watching Who, Blood Ransom, The Test of Time, Guys Reading Poems, Heartlock, and Horizon Line, but none of them made it to mainstream fame. His only two roles immediately preceding his casting as Uhtred in The Last Kingdom, which rose to mainstream popularity, were as Steiner in the World War II film Resistance, and as Luke Ramsey from 2013 to 2014 in American Horror Story Coven. Alexander Draymond's Most Popular Roles Alexander Draymond is known particularly for two of his on-screen roles, Uhtred of Bebenberg in The Last Kingdom and Casper in Christopher and His Kind. The Last Kingdom is a British historical fiction television series based on on the Saxon story series by Bernard Cornwell. The story follows Uhtred of Bebenberg, a man born in Saxon but raised in Dane after he's kidnapped from his hometown following a vicious attack by the Vikings, an attack in which his father, Lord Bebenberg, is slain. 
The story follows Uhtred's quest for retribution as he grapples with his persistently changing oaths throughout the series. A total of five seasons from 2015 till 2022. Christopher and His Kind follows the story of Christopher Isherwood, played by Matt Smith, and his journey as a homosexual man living in Nazi Germany. The story features Draymond as Casper, Christopher's first boyfriend in Germany who decides to up and leave unannounced one day and join the Nazi forces. The film received praise for its overall storyline and Smith's performance. Although Draymond's role didn't have much to contribute to the storyline besides Christopher's own character development, the actor received praise for his first major on-screen role in a film. Otherwise, why won't there be a season 6? Fans were appalled at a 2021 press release that stated that The Last Kingdom would end with its fifth season being its last. Why? The show had received raving reviews from critics. Draymond's performance was applauded, the direction in the show was constantly raved over, and fans were glued to their seats. What changed? Nothing, really. That's right, nothing changed because it had always been intended to last only five seasons. When the first season was being adapted for a screenplay based on Bernard Cornwell's The Saxon series, Series, the author had published nine books with a tenth one underway. On-screen adaptation therefore featured just those books, and not Bernard Cornwell's War of the Wolf, Sword of Kings, and Warlord. Fans argued that the show would seem to end abruptly with Uhtred not receiving the ending he deserved. However, both Draymond and the show's executive producer, Nigel Marchant, sat down to explain that their screenplay was intended only for five seasons. The ending of The Last Kingdom, the television series, was therefore devised before the final books were even published. Marchant revealed that he believed Uhtred received an ending that the writers of The Last Kingdom felt gave the character justice, and fans who had been following the show since 2015, closure. Draymond celebrates becoming number one. It's not every day you get to hear that your show just made it to number one on Netflix, a feat not enjoyed by many. Considering that the streaming service is home to hundreds and hundreds of popular releases, yet The Last Kingdom made it to the global best and the cast and crew could not be more thankful. Of particular note was Uhtred, Draymond himself. In a social media post, Draymond can be seen dressed up as Uhtred of Bebenburg and addressing fans with the caption, wow, hashtag number one globally. Huge thanks to at Netflix and to all our amazing fans, old and new, for watching. Congratulations to the whole TLK family. I'm so proud to be a part of the team. We're sad to see Uhtred go, but at least he leaves us with fond memories of the Vikings and all that they're known for. What do we know about The Seven Kings Must Die? Production for The Last Kingdom wrapped up in 2022, with the show's fifth and final season coming to an end. Fans were left with bittersweet feeling. The producers, including Draymond himself for two episodes in the fifth season, did the character arcs justice with the ending. However, fans were sad to say goodbye to one of Netflix's most popular shows. If you wanted more of The Last Kingdom, you are in luck. Seven Kings Must Die is a two-hour follow-up movie to The Last Kingdom. It was announced by Netflix on October 24th, 2021. The movie will begin filming in early 2022 and is expected to premiere in late 2022 or early to mid-2023. Seven Kings Must Die isn't, however, a replacement for season six of The Last Kingdom. The movie has been described as being a standalone epilogue for the series. Who do you think Alexander Draymond is dating? Are you excited for Seven Kings Must Die? Be sure to let us know in the comments down below. We'll see you back soon with another video. Until then.